here we go again. It's December and I'm headed back down to Arizona for a late season elk hunt. This time, I brought my good buddy Clint along and we were headed to the San Carlos Apache Reservation with an elk tag in our pocket. the first day we have I think seven more days so I'm gonna hit it hard and hopefully we find where these bulls are hanging out we might just be in the wrong area or they might just not be moving today so we'll check back in a little bit the first few days of the hunt started out slow for us with rough weather conditions snow rain and poor visibility made it tough to turn up any elk we were starting to wonder if we were even going to see any elk on this trip. We hiked in here a couple miles, had some elk sign, lots of area to glass, and we did we head down the ridge and see if we can find, find something. Well, it's day four. We're finally actually hunting. We've had a flat tire today, had to change that in the snow. A couple times getting stuck, chaining up. Clint and I are just getting up here, getting some elevation. We can finally see it's been snowing all day, zero visibility, so it's finally broken up and we're gonna glass right before dark, so see if we can find something, get it done. There's a bull in here, so we're gonna hustle up. We think he's just down in this bottom or up on the side hill, so we're gonna work our way up, hopefully. Find an open spot where we can glass and just sit tight and look for him. He might be bedded, but there's a bull in here, so. We didn't get him, but he's out there. Damn, that light's bright. <laughs> Whew. Well, we just got a couple bulls spotted. One of them's a pretty nice one. He looks like a six by seven, maybe a 330, 340 bull. It's hard to tell, he could be bigger or a couple thousand yards away, so he doesn't look like he's ready to bed down yet, so we're gonna hurry over to this other ridge. We have to drop down this ridge. During the late season, you have to come prepared for terrain like this. Deep snow, steep mountains, it will eat you up fast. After diving off the top of the mountain, we went up and down four different steep ridges and we're finally getting close. This last push would hopefully put us into shooting range of these elk. Almost there. Just got a little bit further to go and then we might be able to get eyes on those bulls. Hopefully it's just right up here. This is steep.
brush in front of him. Look, like you can just see his front shoulder. And his whole face looking right at us. He's just licking his, he's licking his back shoulder. Yeah, I'd kill him right now. He's a six by seven, I guarantee okay. it. Hit him. The first shot I jerked, second shot I settled down and bared down and I heard the thump. And there's a big there's a big pile of blood right behind where he was. Had to warm up the boar, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's not super wide, but he's not bad. He's got nice grunts on him. Well, here we are, late season, Arizona. We turned this bull up uh, fairly early this morning and had to cross a couple ridges to get to him. He had two other bulls with him and our plan worked out. We got into good position and got all our gear set up, got glass on him, Clint was spotting and the nice six by seven. But we got some work to do getting this guy cut up. We're almost three miles from the truck and about two feet of snow. So it's gonna be a little bit of work, but good way to start off the new year, 2023 with the bull elk. Oh, trigger happy Tony though. First bull he sees is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well it's been fun. I'll see you back to the truck, bud. <laughs> <laughs> He should be breaking trail for me. Why? It might pack heavier than yours. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, raghorn? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Last load. About a half mile more to the truck. Do side hill in it. Stuff's kind of slick, though. Looks like it's gonna warm up a little bit today. It's supposed to be up to 50 degrees. I think it was 15 yesterday, so well, the snow's probably gonna melt. Well, this is it, final pack out. We're headed back home, 1500 miles. <laughs>